All right, hello everybody. Welcome to another video from AA Sports Cards. And you know it's a substantial collection when you see this written on the stacks. Second set of 1962 Topps Hockey, second set of 1961 Topps Hockey, meaning there's gotta be a first set. A, 1961-62 Topps Hockey set, and here is the second set of 1960, oh sorry, the first set of 1961-62 Topps Hockey. Set one, set one, set one, set two. How do you like that, ladies and gentlemen? And these are very, very nice cards. Let's give you an example. There is the checklist. These are from the second set. The cards in the first set may indeed be better. There uh, is probably going to be a lot of fives, sixes, maybe some sevens. For vintage cards, these are very, very nice. Let's just show as we'll just pan, let the camera pan over some of these cards. Again, I love the first two cards in this set. They're both rookie cards, the Bruce Gamble in particular. But for vintage cards, these are very, very nice. And we have two sets of this year, 1962, and we have two sets of 1961, 62, you will see both of these sets and the rest of this collection, which we'll show you shortly, coming up on eBay under our user ID, Vahuda. Very shortly, we are going to go over these for the consigner and send some cards to PSA to get graded. There's the Glen Hall. And when those cards start to come back, we will sell the sets complete. We do not break sets up. There's the Bobby Hull. There's the Stan Makita. So there's an example of the quality of these cards. And what we'll do is show some from 6162 as well. That's the card that I sh wanted to show. I love that Glenn Hull card. But again, here is the quality of these. There's the Ted Green rookie card. I've always liked this year, 1961. It's a very colorful year. When I was collecting as a kid, I really loved this set. There's the Johnny Busick. So again, you can see the quality. It's there. And I love the fact that these sets are complete. I want to show a few more because, as I said, don't want to end off with not showing some of the stars. There's Gump Worsley, beautiful horizontal pose. And we're going to get near the back with the action cards. The first time Tops did that. And as I said, I believe the checklist is here in this pile. So let me Put these back in order and let's show some of the other beautiful cards in this collection. So we have here a grouping of, let's just pull out a pile and see. More 6162s. This could be a third set. There's another Makita. go over here we have oh, I like this bag I like what's in here we have a Stan Mikita rookie card we have Lauren Worsley from 1963 we have one of the nicest hockey cards ever made that is the last card in the set that is Cesar Maniego's rookie card card number 99 so there's a 1958-59 Maurice Richard. So we will be busy going through this collection for the consigner, selecting some cards that we think are worthy of being graded. And again, you will start to see all of this stuff in the near future. 
offered by us on eBay. This is what I wanted to show. So I'm excited about these. This is the 1962 Post Serial Roberto Clemente in fantastic condition. Kids had to cut these off the cereal box by hand. That is one of the nicest I've ever seen. And then behind that is a 1962 Tops Roberto Clemente. Put those down here. It, it doesn't end, folks. It doesn't end. We have more 63, 64 parties in this bag. Stars of Plenty with Johnny Bauer on top. A perennial favorite. Everybody loves this year. There's Frank Mahovlich. Fresh to the hobby, Alex Del Vecchio. A one collector owned collection. And we are very, very excited that he's chosen us at AA Sports Cards to sell these for him. And should we show a few more things? Let's show a few more things. In this bag, we have 58, 59 parkies with nice white borders and fresh colors. Look at that. Chadwick. So again, a nice group from 58, 59. And then we move over here and we've got some other things in the collection that are interesting, not really along the lines of the Parkers and the Tops. These are uh, post serial. I believe these are from 1967. I have never had the Bobby Orr before. You will see this offered at auction separately. And then the rest of these together, there is the Gordy Howe. There's the Jean Beliveau. These are so nice. Look at that sweet all-star uniform. This is an interesting piece. It's the 1971 Opeechee Hockey poster autographed by Yvonne Cornoyer. And on the back of that, we have the 1971 Pro Stars Bobby Orr postcard. And then here we have some cool cards I would like to show. We have a 1952 Parkhurst Gordy Howe. We have a 1977 Coca-Cola Bobby Orr, which is very, very hard to find. Did we get a good look at that, Howe? Is that okay? It's right there. Let me show the back. It's got a little bit of paper loss, but it's a key card. We have a very nice 1968-69 um, puck sticker of Bobby Orr. 58, 59 Howe, 57 Howe, 67 Howe. That's very cool. Sticker stamp autographed by Gordy. 1969 stamp, Colgate stamp of Howe. What, what do you need to say about that? That's a, a work of art. 1953 Parker's Richard and a graded puck sticker of Bobby Orr. There is more in this collection, but I hope you've gotten a taste from what we've shown. Again, double sets of 1961-62, two sets plus extras, two sets of 1962-63 tops plus extras. Makita Rookie, tons and tons of stars. It's just gonna be a lot of fun to go through this collection. So again, you will see all of this shortly on eBay under our user ID, Vahuda. Thank you to this consigner for choosing AA Sports Cards. Thank you to you for watching this video, and we'll be back real soon with more. Take care, everybody. Go Canucks!